Hello everyone, it's Chantel from Crow Chantel, and welcome to this tutorial on how to make an amigurumi sun. If you would like the PDF version of this pattern, please check out the caption for more details. And the materials that you'll need include a crochet hook, some scissors, a stitch marker, I personally use a bobby pin, a sewing or darning needle, 24 millimeter safety eyes, black super bulky yarn, yellow super bulky yarn, and dark yellow super bulky yarn, as well as some polyfill stuffing. And the terminology and abbreviations you will need to understand include a magic ring, single crochet, increase, decrease, slip stitch, fastening off, working in the front loop only, and working in the back loop only. And to start, we will take our dark yellow super bulky yarn and create a magic ring. As some of you know, I like to close off my magic rings before working single crochets into them, as I find this helps prevent the yarn from snapping. And for row one, we will simply do six single crochets into the magic ring. And this is what your work should look like. For row two, we are simply going to do a single crochet and then an increase for a total of three times, and by the end of the row, you should have a total of nine stitches. And for row three, we are simply going to do two single crochets and then an increase for a total of three times. By the end of the row, you should have 12 stitches. And this is what it should look like. To fasten off, you are going to slip stitch into the next stitch, and then cut a short tail. You will be making a total of 12 of these points, but on the 12th one, do not fasten off your yarn. I am going to make mine off camera. And these are what they should look like. With the 12th still on your crochet hook. So now you are going to take one of your sun points and you are going to fold it in half. And then you are going to work six single crochets across. No need to stuff the point. And you have now connected your first sun point. We are now going to take another point and we are once again going to fold it in half and then work six single crochets across. Once again, not needing to stuff the point. And I am now going to go off camera and connect the rest of the points. And then you are going to connect back to the first one by simply repeating the process of folding it in half and doing six single crochets. And this is what it should look like after all of the points have been connected. By the end of that, you should have a total of 72 stitches. And then to fasten off, we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch and leave a short tail. Now we are going to get started on the yellow portion of the sun. So to start, you are going to take your crochet hook 
and insert it into the front loop only of row 4 that you have just completed. And you will attach your yellow yarn. And then chain 1. And for this row, you are going to do 10 single crochets and then a decrease for a total of 6 times, working only in the front loop. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 66 stitches. We are now going to get started on row 6, where we will do 9 single crochets and then a decrease for a total of 6 times, but for this row and for the remaining rows, you do not need to work in the front loop only. By the end of this row, you should have a total of 60 stitches. And this is what your work should look like so far. And then for row 7, we are going to do 8 single crochets and then a decrease for a total of 6 times. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 54 stitches. Now for row 8, we are going to do 7 single crochets and then a decrease for a total of 6 times. And by the end of the row, you should have a total of 48 stitches. And this is what your work should look like. And for row 9, we are going to do 6 single crochets and then a decrease for a total of 6 times. And by the end of the row, you should have a total of 42 stitches.
And now for row 10, we are going to do five single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 36 stitches. And for row 11, we are going to do four single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times. And by the end of the row, you should have 30 stitches. And this is what your work should look like. For row 12, we are going to do three single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times. And by the end of the row, you should have a total of 24 stitches. And for row 13, we are going to do two single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times. And by the end of the row, you should have 18 stitches. Then moving on to our second last row, row 14, we are going to do a single crochet and then a decrease for a total of six times. And at the end of the row, you should have a total of 12 stitches. And then for our final row, row 15, you are going to do six decreases around where you should have a total of six stitches. And then to fasten off, simply slip stitch into the next stitch. And then cut a tail to sew the opening closed. Then taking your darning needle, sew through the front loops only of the final row. and then pull the opening closed and tie a knot. Then weave the end onto the inside of the sun. And this is what it should look like so far. And we are now going to insert the safety eyes. Insert the eyes between rows nine and 10 on either side of the center. I like to position my sun so that there is one singular point at the top, almost like it is a clock. And to secure the eyes in place, simply put on the backings. And this is what it should look like. For the back of the sun, you are going to insert your hook into the back loops only of the sun's point and attach your yellow yarn and then repeat rows 5 to 15 on the back. Now I recommend stuffing your work at around between rows 12 and 13. And this is what your sun should look like after you have crocheted the back and have sewn in all of your ends. This is optional, but you can add a smiley face onto your sun. Comment down below if you would like me to do a tutorial on how I add my facial features to my plushies.
And this is what your finished sun should look like. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and comment down below if you ended up making your own amigurumi sun. And if you end up posting it on Instagram, please tag me at underscore crochantel underscore because I love to see all of the things that you guys create. If you would like to see more content like this, please subscribe as I post free patterns every Friday.